Hey, this is Andy with Rocket City Pinball. I'm going to show you today the Daily Bugle Building Mod. This is a collaboration between Rocket City Pinball and Flip Mods, or Rocket Flip as we've lovingly been calling it. We worked really hard together on the design and getting this thing put together and brought to market. So really excited to share this with you. It was a, a great team effort and we're really happy with the results. Before I get into showing you this, I just want to give uh, Don's Pinball Podcast. Um, I've been listening to Don's podcast. I've listened to several different podcasts, and one of the things I really like about Don's Pinball Podcast is he seems to be a real positive guy. You know, he's always willing to give every game a fair shake. He's got uh, some positive things to say, and if he's something that he doesn't like, he'll you know, offer some constructive criticism. But I'm really happy to hear positivity in pinball. Uh, some podcasts can get pretty negative, and Pins Eye can get pretty negative sometimes, so... It's always a pleasure to listen to Don and hear what he's talking about. And he's a great customer. He's bought tons of my stuff. So thanks, Don. Keep up the good work. It was great to meet you at Expo. All right, back. Okay, so if you look at the Venom game, you'll notice it's a little bit imbalanced because back here you've got the Ravencroft Institute. Right here we got the Bell Tower mod, and then you got the Life Foundation on the Premium and the LE. That's uh, also Flip Mod's Bell Tower mod, by the way. And then over here, you, you kind of we lost the the building motif. So we just have this strange design plastic just standing there not doing anything but take a closer look what we got here this is the daily bugle lane and there's daily bugle building in fact the mystery when you do the mystery and you get it up on screen it's the daily bugle building there i like what stern did at least with the colors you can see they tried to match you know the oranges and the yellows with the blues down here which was nice and they actually used black screws for once which was also nice but it doesn't really you know it's missing something because we have all this architecture and a plastic over there kind of weird so we came up with the daily bugle because that's the daily bugle lane and check it out we designed this thing so that we have these specialized windows inside that will only allow the windows around the specific modes to light up without any major light bleed or anything which i think was really cool because it's you know if you think about it it's kind of like people in your office building and when you're in an office building and you see it at night you see those windows light up and that's it so there you go just quick for example of what that looks like when it's installed. So when each mode lights up, you'll see those windows around it light up. Super cool. It's ridiculously easy to install. We're including these three screws that you need. These are the same length as the screws that are installed in the factory plastic, but they are stainless steel instead of um, the black finish so that they'll match the building a little bit better. So let me just show you how easy this is gonna be to install. So if you look at this plastic right here, you have three screws. You got one up here, and you got two down there. Now to take those out, you just need a screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and you need a quarter inch wrench, or a, uh, I use a, a socketing wrench, I like that because it's easier. This is quarter inch right here. Now the bottom two screws go into threaded inserts, so you don't have to worry about nuts falling out back there. So you really only have to worry about this one nut right here. So you're just gonna get your nut on that, um, your, your wrench on that nut, take this screw out, and then just unthread the other two screws. Now, there's a light board right behind there, and um, that'll line up with the new mod you're gonna put in. So let me pause the video real quick. I'll take that off and show you what it looks like next. All right, here we go. Now, I, of course, I always recommend that you turn the power off to the game before you do any of this kind of work. I've left it on here just because I wanna show you what the light board looks like behind the plastic. So see, I've taken the plastic off just with those three screws, and there's the light board just hanging out waiting for us to bring in the Daily Bugle. Um, you'll notice there are some um, some pins that rise up off the surface there. We've designed clearance into the back of the building for that. And we've also designed clearance for these, uh, these round spacers here. So next thing you're gonna do is you're going to bring in your building again with their power off. In fact, let me do that so I can set a good example. All right, so next thing you'll do is you'll bring in your mod and it's simply just set it in place. This is kind of hard to do with one hand, so I'm probably gonna have to set my camera down. But you're essentially going to line up the big holes in the back of the building with those spacers and you'll align the front of the building with the edges of the um, with the side edges you're gonna have a little bit of a um, you'll have a facade kind of finish here like a lot of modern buildings do these days where they have that single piece that rises above but it'll all line up nice and then it'll look great so let me do that and we'll show you what it looks like just real quick wanted to show you how once you line up those spacers how it slips right in and fits flush against the back surface of the building there. All right, more to follow. All right, and there you have it, all three screws installed. Now I recommend when you do this installation, you put the bottom two screws in first because those are the ones that will help position and physically attach the bugle to the play field. The top one essentially just squeezes the light board 
to the plastic and holds that all together. But the ones that attach it to the play field are these down here. Now, speaking of positioning, for premium and LE owners, I need you to take note here. There is a, um, a notch cut out in the side of this blue plastic right here, and you see a piece of metal back there. Now, what that is, is on the back side of this 180 ramp, there's this big metal flap down here. And you'll note, if I grab it here, I can actually lift that up. So what happens is, as this ramp rotates backward to change position, this metal tab down here lifts up and contacts this black bracket here, and that forces this flap open. So since it moves through that space, this notch has to be there to allow clearance for that piece to move through. So that means the bugle has to clear it too. But you're okay, because if you loosen these two little screws up, you'll have enough free play and positioning to push the bugle to the right this way, and it'll still give you enough clearance for that bracket to, to move through there without issue. So that's it. That's the Daily Bugle building mod from Rocket Flip. Check out the beautiful windows there, you know, the hardworking Daily Bugle employees burning the midnight oil to bring you the news tomorrow to talk about what kind of chaos carnage has unleashed upon the city. So you can buy this mod through the flipmods.com website or rocketcitypinball.com website or either of our pin side shops. You can order it from either of us. And if you order other of our mods along with it, then you can save on some shipping. So no worries who you get it from. It's a collaboration. We're sharing it and we're happy to bring it to you because we love it and this looks really great. So flipmods.com, rocketcitypinball.com, daily bugle building mod. I'm going to take a minute here and show you some other mods that I have on this game. If you're interested to stick around, great. If not, thanks for watching. All right, a couple other mods I've got here on this game. I have my Symbiote Flasher Bulb Covers, Rocket City Pinball Original. Of course, we already mentioned the Flip Mods Bell Tower. I also have Flip Mods uh, Venom Board Savers, those exposed opto boards on either side of the fast locks, so those cover those up nicely. If you've got a premium in LE, here's something you got to take an interest in. So you take a look at your play field here and you see you've got all these inserts that tell you where your shot is. But what about behind the doppelganger? You can see how he blocks that insert. You can't really see when that's lit. So I have devised a cool little mod back here. You see back here there's a mirror that's mounted on a little 3D printed mount that reflects that insert for you. So now you'll know where you can shoot when you have a shot lit back there. You'll notice on the LE I've got the factory mirror blades on here. You can also see the um, the insert off to the side in the reflection so if you have mirror blades that's an option as well but I don't really like looking off to the side of the play field. I kind of like looking ahead so that's why I like the positioning of the mirror back there. I've also include with that a small acrylic. You'll notice with the danglies here on the doppelganger um, Stern had included an acrylic back here to prevent this from swinging up and into the shooter lane but the one that they included is too short and I actually got mine stuck in the shooter lane several times so I've made a new acrylic that's a little bit taller so you can see here now you physically cannot get this target up into the shooter lane which is how it should be. What else I got here? I got a hardware cleanup kit where I've got black screws and, and nuts installed around the play field to kind of clean up that look a little bit some little hex spacers to color the steel um, standoffs a matching color instead even carnage has black nuts yeah i said it Let's see what else i got flipper flipper toppers from flip mods i thought those were cool look really nice match the mouth and the tongue really well um, i also have this piece from flip mods i didn't install yet a little insider connected cover but it still has a hole so you can scan in your code there and of course my rocket city pinball 3d start button so thanks for hanging out and checking out all these cool mods. Flipmods.com, rocketcitypinball.com, and enjoy your daily bugle mod.